And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we are having a little bit of a tour around Allen Burrows Island and doing a little bit more tailwheel work, trying to get my life sorted out. So this is actually two islands. So one has a helipad, you can see in the distance, and the other one has a camping ground and a runway, which is where we are now. It's really, if you're looking for some really nice scenery that's inexpensive, and this is um, a whole four Canadian dollars, um, I highly recommend you get it and have a look and see what the guys at Prop Strike Studios have produced. They have three airports currently. One is freeware. I've got to say, Allen Burroughs Island is nearly freeware, considering it's only four dollars, and it's a great bit of scenery. So let's take a little fly around it. So as I say, we've got two islands, Allen and Burroughs Island. Uh, they're in the state of Washington on the west coast of the US. Uh, they're both um, quite small islands and there is another township nearby which we will be visiting. Um, it has a helipad and uh, if you hang around for a very soon to be released video after this one, well, it'll probably be the next one in line, uh, you'll uh, see me try and, try and land the helicopter. So let's see how we go with the takeoff here. I'm getting the nose down, I'm actually getting this a little bit better now. I'm actually keeping it relatively straight and from a couple of you guys out there, you know who you are, told me you had to jab and jab again. Um, that seems to work really well, so instead of just holding on the, the rudder, you actually give it a belt and then you uh, release it and then you give it another belt if you need it and it just seems to work a lot better. So um, for the guys that suggested to me uh, just recently on how to go about doing that, that has worked really well. So. Let's take a bit of a run around the island, have a bit of a look, and then we'll do a, a landing. And um, we're also going to have a little walk around it. And we're here in the Stinson again, which is another great little aeroplane. Been having a lot of fun uh, flying this fella around. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, things we need to know. What do we need? We, we have a 750 metre strip, which is where we just took off from. And uh, the other island has, and that's the one in the background now, uh, that has... Uh, a, a lighthouse and uh, also we have a uh, you can see the dock down there so you can come down here in a seaplane which is uh, another adventure I'm planning let me get the seaplane out I'm trying to feel, fly all the different things that are available here in X -Plane, X plane 11 because there is so much and I have to be say that I've been fairly narrow in what I've done in the past so this is the campsite which we just took off from or just from around the corner from we have smoke and there's lots of really great features here we've got um ortho photos for the uh for the islands which have been created by the guys um accurate forest types and volumetric grass around uh, re realistic ground textures they look pretty realistic I, I just wish i had currently had some sound so i could hear whether it's crunchy or not but certainly um in the other offerings out there uh, at Matchmill Fisheries, you can hear the crunching of the dirt under the wheels, which I think is pretty amazing. Uh, we got some animated traffic. There's a few cars and things running around the place, a few boats and things. Uh, the uh, trees, three D trees and bushes, are pretty good. Um, custom and accurate mesh for both the islands, and it does look pretty good. Getting around, and even the runway is not flat, so you can do all the rocks down there on the left. So you scoot around low level. Um, campsite we got some animated smoke which we've already seen and it is affected by the uh, there's the wind direction well I didn't have a great deal of wind going because uh, I think that's got to be another one crosswind crosswind landings in a tail dragger I'm sure I'll have to do a couple of hours practice before I even dare making a video on that for you guys but uh, it does no, it just shows you the challenges within the explain now as we fly around low level here we'll come down past the uh, dock so you can come and fly down here sail in here do what you want it's uh, it's really good and again for four canadian dollars or four dollars twenty oz it's really cheap so let's take a little bit of a walk through the bush as well while the aircraft is uh flying around overhead now i guess the only suggestion i would have for the guys uh, that do this great scenery is that um if you're going to put the uh path through try and put exclusion zones on the path so that you can actually walk through it now whether anybody else would actually do it or i'm just dumb enough to do it i don't know but um 
yeah, you get around the corner and then there's all these trees in the middle of the path, so just a little thing. But other than that, uh, the quality of the scenery is amazing, the trees look fantastic, and the grass runway is also damn fine. So we're out here and we're going to come in for a very long, slow-ish final onto, uh, onto the runway and, uh, and see if I can manage to do this without killing us all. If you haven't had a fly in this Stinson, I do highly recommend this one as well. A lot of fun. And uh, in the last video that's coming out, well actually it's coming out tonight, um, <laughs> and this will come out after it does, uh, I actually had some issues with icing. Um, carb icing so you have to use the carb icing uh, the carb heat uh, on this aircraft as well otherwise depending on the weather of course but the engine will just stop dead on you it's nasty so uh, we get a nice final and we're going to try another three-pointer is my intention try and miss all those trees on the left and right as we come back down Dallin Burrows and uh, let's get that nose up hold it up get that back wheel down doing pretty good on the rudders not having to do a great deal of work now there's that trick again if you want this thing to stay on the ground and stay straight you get that joystick pulled right back into your stomach and we even ended up straight isn't that amazing i reckon that's a nine out of ten you can feel free to uh comment below and tell me what you think i uh, i scored on that one but i was pretty happy with the whole event so if you're looking for some new scenery and you want to have a bit of fun maybe in a tail dragger but it doesn't have to be um, have a look at Prop Strike Studios, and this is not a paid um, advert for the guys. I just really like what they do, and I thought I would come and give it a bit of a fly around. I was looking for somewhere new. So, again, Prop Strike Studios, Alan Burroughs Island. Go and have a look. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you've seen here on the channel, feel free to subscribe. Love to have you on board. Heading towards 900 people at the moment, or heading that way. And uh, visit Let's Fly VFR Catch you again soon.